Hey guys, here's my 16 piece casual summer or vacation capsule wardrobe. I've got a cropped chambray shirt that's embellished, a soft faded hoodie, formerly red colored, a lightweight beige sweater that's been embellished with some sequins, a vintage men's paisley shirt, uh, a t-shirt from my favorite pub in Houston, an artsier t-shirt that's one of my favorites, an oversized peasant style shirt with short sleeves, and then a colorful gauze sundress, embroidered denim cutoff jeans, and a denim straight skirt. I've got some lightweight tan camo pants and some olive cropped jeans. And then for shoes, I've got some natural leather ballet flats, classic white sneakers, and some sparkly sandals in a rose gold that kind of is skin toned for me. Well, the anchor of this capsule wardrobe is kind of the quintessential boho piece, uh, and it is a long maxi dress that's layered and full flowing and lots of bright colors and a fun hippie bohemian print. I've had this dress for many, many years and I love how versatile it is. I remember taking it with me on a trip to Las Vegas many years ago and I wore it one day when I didn't know what we'd be doing all day and I knew that I could wear it casual and out in the heat and then if I still had it on in the evening, if we didn't have time to go back to the hotel, that I would still be fine in this dress into the evening and going to dinner or whatever. It's just a super versatile piece and maxi dresses and maxi skirts are back in right now so if you have some of those from years past go ahead and pull them out. A chambray shirt is always a great choice for a capsule wardrobe. It can do double duty. You can wear it as a shirt and also as a layering piece or a jacket. This one in particular has some boho vibes because it has some embroidered darker blue uh, patterns on it that I think make it pretty special. A lightweight sweater in a neutral color is a really great addition, uh, especially to a travel wardrobe in the spring or summertime. It's great to layer on top of things if it gets chilly at night. And I, I love this one. It's a pullover. A cardigan also works great and is very versatile. I think a beige is a really boring color, but I love this sweater and it goes with so many things. I'm always amazed how often I like to mix it in. A hoodie has become another classic piece that really can help dress down something or give it a nice casual vibe, especially a soft, uh, worn one like this. And um, I forgot to take my glasses off, so this is the nerdy um, athletic leisure look I've got going on here. I am such a sucker for graphic tees, and one of my favorite tricks is to take a dress that I wear one day and then on another day wear it with a tee on top of it so it's more like a skirt and then put my sneaks on with it and I just think that's a super cute casual vibe. Um, I don't like to wear shorts all the time. I like to sometimes be wearing skirts or pants or mix it up a little and this is a nice cool fun comfortable look in the summer. And here's another variation of the super casual version of wearing this dress so that you could go sightseeing or do something all day and be totally comfortable. Here we have it with the chambray shirt on top again and a tank top underneath. And this is my favorite crazy print tee along with a crazy print skirt. And uh, it's a lot, but that's boho, baby. I like a lot of mixed patterns. I like a lot of color. It's fun for the summer and uh, it's a great combination. Now I've changed from the dress to shorts and I'm also wearing a, a white tank that I forgot to take a picture of so if you can count you may have noticed that I didn't show 16 items in those earlier pictures because I forgot to take a picture of my white tank top but white tanks are totally back in style now they've been on the runways all over the place mine is from a show that I remember seeing but it's a basic cute white tank and I'm wearing it with the uh, the chambray shirt and then also with the men's vintage shirt that I got many many years ago at a thrift store and it, it can be a great casual look with shorts um, to put the cozy sweatshirt on top and sneakers if you don't like the look of cutoffs any other kind of shorts would work great with this look and you need some kind of shorts for a vacation capsule this is a summer or a vacation capsule and so Whatever kind of shorts you like would work here. I, I chose these cutoffs because they have embroidery 
embroidered flowers and so they're very bohemian feeling and this is also a good solution if you have some old skinny jeans that you're not wearing anymore is cutting them into some kind of cutoffs um, it just gives them a new life and some of us are tossing our skinny jeans now here I've switched to just a straight denim skirt it's a classic piece that I've had in my wardrobe for years um, the only problem in this capsule is that it's the same wash, the same color as the cutoffs, and so I'd probably have more versatility if I had a lighter wash skirt or a different kind of fabric, but I wanted a skirt for dressing things up a little bit more. You can see that with this skirt as opposed to the cutoffs, this is something where I could go to lunch in this, or I could wear it for a lot of different occasions. Uh, it's still cool and comfortable for the summertime, but it dresses up a little more, and it also can dress down. So. A basic denim skirt, you know that goes with everything. You can wear it in so many different ways. And here I've got it more like in a way that I could wear it to dinner with sparkly sandals and a sweater that has sparkles in it. So definitely a super versatile piece. It's good to have some of these neutrals and basics in your capsule wardrobe. And speaking of versatile neutrals, I love this leather crossbody bag that I got in Italy several years ago. It has dark green leather on one side and a neutral gray on the other side, and so I turn it around whichever side matches better with my outfit, so it can do double duty that way too. Here I'm wearing a peasant blouse that I thrifted, and it's an extra large, but I like the oversized silhouette of it because it's a different shape than my other shirts in this capsule. I'm not a big belt person, but I do like to have some definition at my waist or legs or some part of my body. I don't really like to be wearing huge voluminous clothes all the time and so a belt with a big shirt like this or something like a cropped shirt on top of it which gives you different definition at the waist and shows different layers is a good solution for something like that. Um, now we've got a family visitor who just wants to get on video so don't mind him. Here's that crossbody bag I was talking about, and I think the green side looks pretty good with this paisley shirt, and I've got my sweater tied at the waist too for extra layers and for a little bit of waist definition again. Well, here we've got preppy, sporty, bohemian. Is that a thing? I don't know. It's a combination of several styles, but I will say that I think a capsule wardrobe is more interesting if you're combining a few different styles together, and if you're using pieces along with those basics like like I have here you're also using some pieces that are really really specific to your style and really unique and special that's what makes a capsule fun instead of just completely boring and you don't really want a capsule that looks like everyone else is on the internet at least I don't and I think you're watching this video because you don't want a capsule that looks exactly like everyone else's well there it is I told you you could use a chambray shirt as a shirt who knew so uh, this, I think, especially looks great because it's the light chambray, but it's got the dark uh, blue embroidery, and it looks good with a darker blue denim skirt. I think this combination is so cute, and it's comfortable, versatile for a lot of different activities. For a break from the denim, I included my olive cropped jeans in this capsule, and they are really versatile and go with a lot of things, including the green side of my leather bag. And this is a great way to include color in your capsule wardrobe so it's not just all black and white and gray and denim, uh, but it also goes with a whole lot of different things. It's still a nice neutral. I just want to take a moment to say that you can have crazy patterned or colorful pieces in your capsule wardrobe. It doesn't have to be just all complete neutrals. In fact, those special pieces are really what makes the capsule wardrobe you know your signature and feel like you this shirt is like one of my all-time favorite shirts I've had it for over 20 years it's from a Spanish company called Custo and I love to put that in my capsule because if you have a piece that just really feels like you like your signature style and you feel like yourself when you wear it put it in your capsule and you'll wear it more if it's in a capsule because you're kind of pushing yourself to wear it multiple times in a month or in a season or however you do your capsule and you'll enjoy it because one of those pieces that's quintessentially you is something that makes you feel good every time you see it and every time you put it on so get them out of the closet and wear them you guys tell me in the comments are you more likely to be interrupted by people or pets when you're trying to get something done I have I have an eight-year-old boy and I made sure when I was filming this that he would be busy somewhere else doing something else but 
I was foiled by our furry friend. So there you have it. Take a unique artsy t-shirt and layer a vintage paisley button up on top of it. That's twice as much to love. It's great. Bohemian doesn't have to just be big floppy hats and huge full long dresses. I like things that are a little more tailored. I would say my style is boho because I like things that are kind of artsy, vintage, bohemian feeling. But I like the silhouettes to be a little more shaped and tailored. And you can make that your own. You can make boho be what fits best for your style and it can still have a very cool vibe. Another thing that's interesting is a piece that has a bohemian vibe but is still a neutral, so it's not just bright and colorful. This peasant shirt has a bohemian type cut, it has tassels on the ties, it has embroidery all over the front of it, but because it's in a neutral color, it goes with all kinds of different things and it feels kind of fresh and not just completely typical saturated color boho. Layers of different lengths and belting and things like that can change up the look of an outfit and add interest. I'm kind of a sucker for camo, especially in other colors besides the traditional green. And cargo pants are really having a moment. Cargo, all kinds of cargo things are back in style. And so I picked these little lightweight pants up at the thrift store and think they're going to be great for summer. They're versatile. They're comfortable. You know, they're not tight and hot in the summertime. They're, they're a good choice for travel and for warm weather. Yeah, you can have prints in a capsule wardrobe, especially if you're somebody like me who likes mixing prints. And I think these prints work okay together because they're in the same color scheme and they're both in fairly neutral colors. So I actually love this combination. And we'll finish up this last look at our capsule wardrobe with a no-fail combination of cargo pants, a graphic tee, a hoodie tied at the waist or pulled over on top, and some comfy sneakers. You guys let me know in the comments which look was your favorite. Are you going to try a capsule wardrobe? Do you do your wardrobe for a whole season or just a month like I do? I find that I get bored if it's more than a month, and so I kind of like to change them out every month. But let me know what you do. Thanks a lot.